Ali Hassan is a reporter with Dhanka TV, a downmarket local TV channel in Karachi, Pakistan. He is keen to migrate to the US for a better life and wants to work for an American news channel. He gets a chance to fly to the US, but ruins it on board while filming his own audition. He recites the words, Hi Jack, and, Bomb, too many times thus scaring his fellow passengers and flight crew. As soon as he reaches the United States, he is deported. Furthermore, because of this incident his visa application is rejected six times in seven years. While covering a local event for his channel, he comes across an Osama bin Laden look-alike, Noura, and hits upon an idea to make a fake Osama tape. He manages to convince his assistant Gul about the merits of his plan. With help from his travel agent, S. Assistant Zoya and a local radio jockey Qureshi, he is able to make the tape by tricking Noura into unknowingly posing as Bin Laden. He then sells the tape to the owner of his channel, hoping to raise money for a new false identity, a new passport and a renewed attempt at getting the elusive U.S. visa. However, the gravity of their action strikes them when the U.S. government takes the tape seriously and gets involved, as do the Pakistani intelligence agencies. Noura, too, realizes the trick played upon him and hides in his house. Uddharan, Ali decides to defuse the situation by making another tape in which Osama would be declaring ceasefire with U.S. He manages to convince Noura and Qureshi. During the shooting of the tape in Dunka TV studio, Noura unwittingly detonates a grenade, which kills his beloved prize rooster. Depressed, Noura runs away from the location with the Osama makeup still on, forcing Ali and his team to follow suit. They manage to get hold of Noura and try to convince him for another shoot. Meanwhile, the FBI team led by Ted Wood and Usman. Head of the Pakistani intelligence agency tracks down the location of Ali and his team. The police arrests Noura, Ali and his team. Ted is delirious that he could at last catch Osama bin Laden. However, during the interrogation, the truth is revealed and to save Ted's face, Ali convinces him about his idea of making a tape of Osama declaring ceasefire. The film ends with U.S. accepting the offer of ceasefire and Ted getting elected as defense secretary. Ali is, at last, able to make it to the U.S. and Noura too changes his lifestyle. Marries Zoya and helps her with the daily routine in her beauty parlor. Usman is shown to be admitted in a mental hospital as he tries to tell the truth to the world.